Okay, we're gonna go check in on a job in progress. Really interesting pond that we started designing last year. It's a plunge pool meant for getting in and cooling off. About five feet deep, but the area you can get into is only about you know 10 by 15, um, 20 by 30, give or take pool size to swim in and has an external filter of an upflow wetland filter and a stream and series of waterfalls joining the two. It's a real uh, unique location, nice place, nice neighborhood, great clients, very tricky access, very much a case of needing to paint yourself out of a corner properly and not get handcuffed in order to reduce the amount of uh, work that will need to be done and how much can be done by hand. So the guys got started on this a couple weeks ago. I haven't been to the site yet. They're doing an amazing job. Part of the reason I haven't been there yet. Due to the real tricky access, we uh, decided to bring in a crane rather than our excavator to do a bunch of the boulder work keep things a little bit safer as far as doing any damage to the surrounding landscape and the existing driveway and walkways and that sort of stuff so we're on day two of the crane work which should be done today so we'll stop in and have a look at that see how it's going and have a look at this uh, fairly unique project so let's take a little drive over and See how it's going. Wrong stone. Gotta pick the right ones. And so, we've used a crane on a job before, but it's been a while. First time we've used one on a on a pond for placing pond stone, and this really is the ticket. Incredibly fast compared to our excavator. Relatively cost effective. You guys were able to get the bulk of the stone into the ring of this pond yesterday. It's going really fast here today. See down in the bottom where that stone sits, you're going to be five feet of water. This will be our flight of stairs coming out. We're going to put a little custom, custom metal railing on that, which we will have to bond for electrical safety.
kids have been liking Fail Army on YouTube, so I'm. <laughs> Give them some material. Yeah, yeah, come on, man, do it, just do it. They can post it themselves. They can post it themselves, that's right. Daddy, can we watch Fail Army tonight? I guess I saw it today. <laughs> In this pond, we're going to be pulling from two surface skimmers. One over on the far side, between the guys there, you can see the face plate on, it's not cut out yet. It's a Helix skimmer, which we started using just this year, and it's the second pond putting them in on. And the first one up in operation, we're quite impressed with it. Really slick the way it works. We'll look at that at another time. So, drawing from the two Helix skimmers. Small pond, but the amount of trees around we want to draw from two places. And power comes out of the house, and the skimmer is going to lead to piping tucked up under the trees here. We say all of our pump system will be external on a pond intended for swimming. Um, system will have its own panel, its own power cords ready to go here and we're going to see an Aquadyne bead filter with a built-in uh, Delta EP40 UV system as a just-in-case. And our return line is temporarily in place. We're going to do a three-inch return line just because of the distance and going up the hill. We like to reduce as much friction as possible. And our nice um, valve cover boxes, little bleeders, uh, this ball valve line leads over and is actually going to return in the bottom of the pond through the stone and sweep across the bottom to help keep bottom debris in suspension. We're leaving a bare liner in the bottom of this pond for ease of cleaning. So we all know that sediment buildup uh, in rock can be problematic. We follow up the return line. Another valve box for another bleeder that we're going to kick in just over at the main waterfall here, you can see the line coming out over there by Brett. And with the amount of buildup and bibbing and filling we're going to have to do behind those spillway stones, we might just stick that return line right on the spillway so it basically adds directly to the feature in case we're losing water uh, behind the stones, which we'll try to avoid as best we can, but you never get all of it. The return line continues up through the trees and cuts underneath where it's going into our upflow wetland. A little bit of ball valving here, another little kicker at the top of the stream. We don't want to send too much water into this wetland or it will lose any effectiveness. We probably want, you know, maybe 3,000 um, GPH going through that and this pump in this system will be capable of, um, you know, probably six, seven, pushing 8,000. So we don't want to send it all up here. It'll be moving too fast for the uh, bacteria to really do its job. So, got about a 30 foot up, um, up well wetland. Uh, our vault here. This is um, sewer pipe put in place and perforated across the bottom. It's about three feet deep, three feet of stone, various sizes. And we'll get our plants in up to that. So, more or less a hidden system up top here, but it was really just a plateau with an empty lawn space not being used uh, up behind the sort of living space of the backyard over that way. And then obviously we return out of the stream. A nice series of falls here. Turn around and have a look at with a bridge. Be a really cool bridge feature here. We're gonna have a nice, nice sheet cascade to one side of the bridge and our other main spillway into the pond on the other. Yeah. And this is where we're going to need to do some serious filling in and bib work to force the water over that spillway. And like I said, we'll likely shoot this other return line straight onto that spillway so we don't lose any of its water. <laughs> and a little flight of stairs I'm going down here leads back over towards the rest of the yard. You guys are finishing off the last step here. And really getting to the point of several more days on this and 
this pond to really be taking shape. And we'll come back through and take a look at it when it's up and running. Time for another little check-in. See where the guys are at on this job. In a few more days since the crane was here and you know things are getting close. I'll catch everyone on lunch. A break. And some rain that kept us away for a little bit, so see that in the bottom. Help clean things out. We're gonna get all the stone flushed off and sucked out before we fill things up as well, so it would help with that. We've been running our piping from the skimmers along the side, between the edge of the pond and the existing concrete walkway, and all buried nicely in sand to keep it protected, as well as our electrical, electrical conduit, some irrigation line, a whole lot of goodness coming up through these trenches. See an existing irrigation line going up this way, our little kicker that goes to the bottom of the pond over there, our skimmer lines, and work the way up and through along with our lighting and I'll come on over to our main equipment pad with our lighting coming through some one inch flex buried in the rock we're going to tuck away make it easier if we ever need to rewire or replace these lights they won't be buried in the rock be able to feed a wire through that much more conveniently. See the guys have snaked through. And then we'll actually install our light into this little piece of one inch pipe with some extra wire coiled up behind it so it's easy to pull out. These are swimming pool rated lights attached into that bit of conduit so they won't get damaged, they'll be tucked in the rock nice, we can bend this however we need to. We're having three lights put in the swimming area here. It looks like the guys are going to try to work at bibbing this up to make the water pull over top of the spillway. Still needs a bit of work on that it would appear. Looks like everything's been hosed and cleaned off and so getting ready to uh, get the edges all dressed up and make this thing run. Just probably just a couple days away. So today is Tuesday. Ideal world, we able to get this thing moving before the weekend. I know we got a lot of rain supposed to be coming on the weekend here as well, so. Get her cleaned up and moving by then. We'll be in good shape. Okay, we're gonna get back over and see this pond. The guys have got it filled with water and mostly wrapped up. The gardens around it are planted. Having a little trouble getting the pump to prime yesterday, so I'm gonna come and give a hand and see what we can figure out happens sometimes with the external pumps we find if there's a little bit of air getting in or not sure exactly what so we'll try to sort that out and get this waterfall going we're in the midst of a little bit of a heat wave here it's 31 degrees and very high humidity and anyone seeing this south of the border not sure what that is in American temperature but it's Georgia so I want to get this thing up and going July 1st in two days on Canada Day and the clients would like to be able to enjoy this pond and get in and cool off so see if we can get things moving here see what the waterfall looks like and, and make this uh, Well, we 
I got it flowing. Need the water to settle out a bit. There's sand and silt off the rocks need to get pulled through and guys will be back tomorrow to do a little sweeping up and cleaning but here's what you see now when you come into this backyard. Not a bad place to hang out. <laughs>